Hello everyone, Alex Rules 237 here, back for another Minecraft video on the Mocharv server, and wait, 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 before you click off the video because you think I'm starting another project when I have 6 billion other projects to do, let me explain myself first. First of all, every time I begin a Mocharv video, or pretty much every video, I start off with like half an hour of news, and you know what, I'm not going to do, I'm doing that right now, but I, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to really do that. I'm going to get straight to work uh, in this episode, so be prepared, you ready? A few months ago, as in a long time ago, and I mean a long time ago, on the Mocharv server, we started a 50 by 50 quarry. It's not far, it's like over here. It's like, um, it's south of Spawn Town. It's like literally over there. Um, we started a 50 by 50 quarry, and the reason is, uh, if you remember my 100 by 100 quarry a series, like a mini series, six episodes, um, I basically did that. 30% of the reason, because I wanted to see how long it would take by myself to do it on the Mocharv server. And it took a pretty long time. Um, so what I did was we had the whole Mocharv team to do a 50 by 50 quarry. And we'd see how well we do. And I did record it. It obviously didn't end up published because it was actually corrupted and none of the voices of the other... Mo Charvers got picked. It, it, it was just a huge mess. So we just left it here. We left it as just a little thing that we can do. And a month later, everyone forgot about it. So it's just a big gaping hole sitting here. And before you're wondering, wait, this is 50 by 50. No, this square that you see is actually 30 by 30. 50 by 50 is a bit too big uh, for the project I want to do. See, this is the, re the rest of it. So I started... Getting a bunch of dirt and trying to fill that, and I'm still technically... What are you doing, Mouse? I'm still technically not done. I still have, like, a bit over here to do, and over here, definitely. Um, I am going to need a bit of dirt. Uh, I have scounged every single last bit of dirt in my base, and in these chests over here, uh, I think I have enough. I have probably more than enough, to be honest with you. Um, What are we doing here? Actually, we are continuing the railway station that we started and speaking of the railway station i'm not gonna go over to screw you grass um i did complete sort of not really um <coughs> i did add all the railway for the uh red line rail road station and i didn't power it or anything and i still haven't really finished the station over by the mini games area but this is going to be the next station with this 30 by 30 quarry we're gonna go a bit deeper uh, about 10 blocks down from here and this lines this line fixes it so this, go 10 blocks deep I want to build a giant tower sort of like Wayne Tower you know from the Batman series something like that maybe not quite that huge we have six months to do it and and I'm pretty sure we can get this done by a lot less than what I'm planning on doing with this is having a bunch of like rental places and you know, a, bun a bunch of stuff for people to buy. They can have shops in here. And also other stuff like a, like a little gambling place. I don't know. Um, so stuff like that. It's going to be big and it's going to signify... Uh, it's going to be like a statue that everyone can see uh, from far away. I'm probably going to see it from my base. You can definitely see it from Spawn Town if you have your render distance jacked up. Unlike me because my computer doesn't have great onboard graphics. But... Uh, anyway, we're going. We're getting off topic. The only way to get into the building is through the railway station, which is going to be down here. There's going to be like a giant railway station sort of thing down there, and that that's going to be like the basement sort of thing. It's going to be cool. So I have two options on how I can build my skyscraper. One, I can go to Green's channel and see what he's got, and pretty much just copy whatever that, and with a few small tweaks. Or two, go into a testing world and completely build one for scratch um i still don't know kind of the design i want oh god the lag spikes there's not much in there uh i kind of don't want the design i don't i really don't know i'm probably gonna have to figure it out but while we're here going off topic which is probably gonna be the new name of my channel uh last night and a little bit this morning i have kind of created this machine uh this is pretty much a gambling machine and uh, this kind of gave me the idea, sort of, of the tower, to have, like, a, a, gam what do you call it? a casino, like, sort of mini casino in my tower, um, 
basically you throw a diamond in and there's chances of getting a few lights now this is the first light this is the second light this is the third light the f to get the first light there is a one and ninth chance to get this one and if you do that you get a diamond which appears here the second to get two lights there's actually a one in 81 chance of getting it which is pretty high uh, you if you do that you get a block of diamond yeah pretty rip off the third one nine times nine times nine in fact I actually kinda of forgot the number um it's so big that I'm actually afraid people aren't even gonna get it so let's see nine to, I can't do that off the top of my head well right now anyway it's 729 there was a one in 729th chance of getting three lights which is a lifetime supply of chicken because I own a chicken farm and I'm actually getting kind of stocked up of chicken now ever since the new mo charvers have gone I've been getting so much business that it's not funny and apparently someone paid call I, I don't know um but that chest is always full this it's been getting so full lately that I got rid of all uh oh why are there eggs I got rid of all the feathers and I also made it a large chest for all this chicken uh, all the feathers actually go into a system underneath that you can kind of see. No, not really. They get rid of all the feathers. But eggs, I don't know what, what's up with the eggs. Because eggs are not supposed to go in there. Alright, whatever. It's f probably fine. Um, Yeah, a 1 in 729 chance. That's pretty big. And I don't want it to make it impossible because one play is one diamond. And that's kind of cheap. So I kind of changed the ballet around. And if you want to... Build this for yourself. I am making a redstone tutorial. I know they're coming back, aren't they? I am making a redstone tutorial on how to do this. And the basic principle of how this works is a drop. There's a bunch of different crap in this dropper. There's you know normal blocks and then there's wooden swords. And how this works is when you throw the diamond in there, it sends a redstone signal to this dropper that shoots any of those nine items into this hopper which gets picked up by the comparator. Now, any normal block from the comparator will only output one signal, if that makes sense. So if a dirt block gets shot up in here, it'll only release one signal. But on the other hand, the swords, the wooden swords, or any sword for that matter, I used wooden because it's the cheapest, will actually output two lines of redstone. So that's how this works. Um, there's nine slots and there was one sword so there's a one in nine chance of getting it which will power this next dropper which uh you know another one in nine chance which will power this dropper which is another one in nine chance <clears throat> which is pretty big and one in hundred and seven no one in seven hundred and twenty nine is that what it was yeah chance of getting it that's pretty big so I kinda changed it I added two to this one which makes two and twenty ninths chance of getting it uh, this one I kept the same there's only one and this one I also added two so that significantly drops that chances down so there's a much better chance of getting two lights and three lights because I felt that was unfair especially one diamond for each time and I did build this last night so I don't know how much uh, business it got and yeah Where's my bed? Oh yeah, I brought it over by the court. Alright, let's get let's get to work.
So, so, I finished the 10 block deep 30 by 30 quarry. It reminded me just of the days of the 100 by 100 quarry, which is apparently right now the most popular series on my channel. Um, it goes down 10 blocks. This doesn't seem like 10 blocks. It seems much deeper than 10 blocks, but I verified it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 blocks. Uh, basically the whole down... Oh, hey, Jordan. Uh, basically the whole bottom... Uh, thing. This is just going to be the railway station. Maybe a few blocks less. Um, I did have a bit of help from Jordan, uh, as you could probably see in the time lapse. Um, near the end of my time lapse, my memory was getting kind of full, so I just had to stop. So yeah, I showed you what you know I could. Uh, what we have next is to come up with the design plan. I want to finish the subway station, the complete subway station. Today, in this episode, so, you know, apart from the roof, we got to come up with a design for that. Uh, we got to dig the hole for the actual thing, and hopefully, for God's sakes, we don't hit any water or at least sand or gravel. Um, let's get to work again. The hole has been dug 10 blocks down, 30 by 30. This area here is going to be the railway, the railway station. Um... <clears throat> The problem with this is that it looks so... I'm trying to make it look like an actual railway station. Like, you can tell, like, this, like, safety line here and whatever. Um, I don't know if I want to continue this line over there. And definitely, for sure, I want to have another, same, like, the same thing right here. But I don't know where it can go. I mean, maybe I can have one going out that leads somewhere over there or over, or over here. Because, really, there is nowhere that can go. And... The reason being is because there's nothing this way. Absolutely none. I mean, it could probably go over to Jordan's base over there, but I really can't meet up with a planned railway line that I'm planning on doing. This one right here, I already pretty much dug the thing. I just got to build it. Um, It starts off with like this here, which I kind of like, and it has like this cobblestone like um liner. And then it goes just to normal right here. You have these slabs that kind of graduate over, down. You, you know what I mean. And it's just the normal tunnel. This tunnel leads to the very first station, the Spawn Town Station. And it's not, like, a very far away. This is going to be the only publicly way to get into the building, the giant, the tower. Um, reason being, I don't want to have, like, a front entrance. Because I can make it look good and stuff. But that's just like defeats the purpose. I want it to like be it like you'll 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 see what I mean when I actually build it though. But this is the main spawn town tower. Um, the, how I'm gonna do this is there's gonna be more will the gray lines are gonna continue this way, and this is going to be I don't know the yellow line because of the yellow safety lines I guess. But what I've com finished this morning or like probably like about half an hour ago was the little junction the T junction meeting the gray line and the red line and technically the red line is done except for the stations so right here what we have um, the red line goes on there I have all the railway and everything all set and this goes to my base this lever here uh, you can choose which way to go by this little junction here so if it's up then you proceed to red line or mini games area so right now it's going this way, and I wish I can get a better way to show you. I'll show you in a minute. Or if you flick it down, it's going to continue to my base. Um, or, uh, let's say you're coming from the red line right here. If you read this, it says proceed to red line. Well, you don't want to go back down. What what that actually does is proceed to gray line to the spawn town station. So if you flick it up, then it just connects. And I'll, I'll show you in a second. So what you got to do is there's three unpowered rails, one, two, and one that I'm on. What you got to do is you got to push it, all of them turn on, and hold down W, and you go. Um, it were it, I tested it, and so far everything, every direction works. Um, how how it works? I'll, I'll try to my best to show you. Um, actually, why am I getting the minecart? Here, actually, let me destroy it before. Oh okay, no 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 no. I mean, it's not going to go anywhere. All right, there we go. So how this works is that I have this redstone going underground into a I don't uh, a redstone torch. I don't want to break under because I don't want to break anything because it's all perfectly pr placed. But this lever is connected to a redstone torch 
under this block. When I flick it, it, it if you can look, it changes direction. So uh, if it's up, it connects these two power rails right here. If it's down, it connects the other line. And how this works, let's say, let's say like I'm coming here. Uh, I can't connect this one to this one um, because that's just how Minecraft works. So what, how this works is that when you push and you hold W, it's actually going to go onto this rail and it's going to continue forward. So trust me, it does work, and I will show you in a second. What this button does is uh, it very essential. It actually just turns it on. It's, it's very simple. It didn't take me long. Uh, so if I go on here, uh, let's say it's – oh, no, no, hold on. I'm on the wrong line. I want to be on the great line. Oh. Okay, let's say I'm on this line. Uh, I can go to the mini games area or I can go to spawn town. See, these two lines are connected, but if I push, it's, as you can see, it just brought me onto that line, which is pretty cool. And I'm going to do the same thing for every station, a junction station that is like a T. Oh, which there's not going to be any more. Come on. There's not going to be like. Uh, intersection sort of thing. It's just going to be that T junction. It's going to be right here too. It's going to be at the mini games station. Um, so that's pretty much um, that. And it's it's very crude how I built it. It's not the best redstone, but it works. It 100% works. And once you know, like you got to hold down W when it, it's on, it works perfectly. So that that's a good thing. I got to do this line right here. I don't think I'm going to do this railway station. I mean, I might do the walls and everything, but I might not make it publicly accessible until the tower is near completion, which should hopefully be in a few episodes. Also, after I completed that T-junction, I tried my best, my best to light up this place, and I used all the torches I can, and I'm not, I want to do a bit more. I used about two stacks of torches, and it's barely enough. Um, Anyway, back to the tower. Getting way off topic, sort of. Um, this is supposed to be the railway station, and this goes 10 blocks down, but I used this andesite. This is polished andesite, which I think looks good. This is the first time I've owned Minecraft for about 5, 6 years now, uh, since the 1.8 update. This is the first time... Not only did I make polished andesite, but I actually used andesite in a build, and th th it looks really good. And there's also the other two blocks. There is diorite, and there's granite, or granite, wherever you live. Uh, I have a bunch of these chests. This one is a dirt chest, which is actually came in useful when I was making the terrain, which I'm still not done. You got the andesite chest, which obviously is empty. Uh, we got the diorite chest, and the granite chest. The granite chest doesn't... Oh, uh, no, not the granite. Just <laughs> the granite itself doesn't look all that great, uh, even polished, but I want to find a use for them. And diorite, I really don't know. Um, I, like, I mean, just look at it. It doesn't look all that great and especially polished. I'll show you the polished version. It doesn't look, like, when you, the polished sort of minerals, they don't look all that different. If you kind of look at it, and I was watching some sort of video, I don't know who it was, but they said it looks like bird poo. <laughs> and yeah, you know what? They're kind of right. And now I can't get that in my head. It looks like bird crap. So I'm, I really don't want to use it now. <laughs> that it got that caught in my head. Andesite looks awesome. And I pretty much forged a lot of people. Do you have any Andesite? Because I was really running low. Because like, you, you, like every Minecrafter, you just throw it away. And, oh, I smacked my pop filter like a freaking noob. Um, So, yeah, I want to create another line right here. Same yellow line. I don't know where it's going to create. Maybe. Oh, I have an idea. Oh, I have an idea. Um, Why don't, you know, we kind of build the line and stuff. But it doesn't go anywhere. Maybe we on each side we can go like 20 blocks in. And then we build a fake train. And I kind of have a design in mind, too. Um, yeah. All right, that's a good idea. Um, what I want to do is I want to build the actual station here first. What I want to do in this episode, and finish at the end of the episode, is to com complete or very closely complete the railway station for the tower. And if we don't complete it, then I will complete it off video and show you in the next video. Um, but I ran into a bit of a problem, and I think I can fix it. So, in my head, I 
want you know the tower is going to be exactly right here the floor for the first floor would be right here so that would leave me with eight blocks of space for the railway because um with this layer i didn't go down one more layer i just covered it and i wanted to go one more layer but it's too lazy man and also it wouldn't work with this railway station and there's a few people who are helping me with the build as in holden he's supplying me with a bunch of terracotta because i'm gonna need a lot of terracotta for the build um so people like him i'm saying he's sponsoring my build he's sponsoring the tower and so he, he basic okay how, how do i say this since he's sponsoring the tower i'm giving him a chunk of the tower what i mean by that is there's going to be about 20 to 26 floors and yeah that's a lot of floors so i'm going to give each of my sponsors about two floors to do whatever they want in there there it's 30 by 30 floor it's going to be awesome kind of already kind of decorated fancy expensive penthouse kind of floor and i there's about right now there's only one sponsor holden but i'm planning on having another one oh yeah no no and there's another one there's jordan because he helped me with the hole and he saved me about two hours of digging and he's probably going to help me with building a bit more as well and potentially luke maybe i don't know because he He's a good builder in general. He might help me. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. So what I'm the reason why I'm saying this is the railway station is supposed to be public publicly accessible. If you want to get into the tower, you have to use the railway station. But remember in the last episode I said I wanted like kind of charge money as in tickets. Well I kind of fluctuated on that. Certain areas you probably have to pay, like specifically the tower. It, this is a big tower that's going to take me two months to build, so I might, like, charge a ticket. Who knows? A ticket could be two iron, it could be a diamond. Who knows? Um, But not for, like, the gray line. To get to my base, to the spawn town, why would you pay a diamond for just to do that? And that's kind of unfair. So I'm not going to do, like, the red and green line to be... I don't know, I'm still thinking about it. But how it works, how it's going to work in my head, and hopefully it does work, is... It will only accept the machine ticket. The ticket machine <laughs> will only accept a diamond, and it's, it won't give you one ticket. It'll give you probably like ten, which I think is pretty kind of fair. And you don't lose those tickets, and one ticket can get you uh, into places where you need the tickets. So, my base. Well, no, not my base. My tower. Sorry. Yeah, that's how that's gonna work. Okay. Um, maybe maybe it can be like a dead end. I I don't know. That's how it's gonna work. But the sponsors, the VIP people that have their own floor, they aren't going to have to use the subway, as in I think what's called. They're going to have a private parking lot. It's going to be a whole big parking lot. There's only going three of them. It's going to be a whole big parking lot for like hor their horses or pigs or, you know, rideable animals and mobs. And it's going to be like a little thing right here. They have a key card, so that I assure that's them. And, <clears throat> yeah, but that leaves us with a lot less space because the floor is going to be right there. So that leaves us with eight, and then we have to divide it into four. So there's going to be four spaces, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. But remember, a, bl a, a floor of block is going to be the same. So, like, if this is the floor one, two, three, four, this is going to be the floor dividing it. So it only leaves you with three spaces, so what I want to do is I want to have the bottom subway four and the top one only three because I, I don't think horses are that big. But if we wanted to address the problem, which can very easily be f done, we can lift the tower up a few blocks so we have a bit of extra headroom, which is what I was thinking about doing. But after I came up with my conclusion of, um, you know, just having three and four blocks. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Another problem with that, though, uh, if the if it's going to be the roof is going to be the ceiling. No, hold on. What am I trying to say? If the ground of the private parking lot is going to be the ceiling of this, then it's going to have to both match. So I'm thinking just like stone or something. And for the, like the light white lines can be carpet. Yeah, that that can that can work. Um, I guess it's not going to be terracotta and they can all have their private. I know I'm jumping all around the place. I should probably get to work. Uh, so, one, two, three, four, 
the wall would be there. Because remember, the parking space has to be relatively close to the ground so they can actually get in. And the and this is going to be the floor. So one, two, three. Yeah, no, that, that can be fine, I guess. I say I guess. Maybe? Yeah, you know what? I think we're going to lift the building up. Just one. No, because then... Yeah. No. <laughs> okay, so I used just basic stone brick. Um, oh my god. Uh, well, we got, we got a damaged. Sorry about that. Um, so, <laughs> I just used basic stone brick, and for the roof, I'm just going to use literal stone. And yeah, that's going to be the basic design. What I'm hoping to do is, you, is just do... Just, follow what I do maybe over here and like the the fake train railway is do some sort of design or something just something um just to like fix it up but what I'm hoping to do is you know the basic stuff and decorate it with a bunch of other stone stuff like you know for the stone brick I mean just have like crack stone and maybe mossy I don't know because this is like a decor new kind of tower it's supposed to be fancy so maybe not necessarily that but try my best to make it look good. I, yeah, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you what I have for the actual tower. Um, I, I do have to keep in mind what I want to do. I'm keep, what I'm, what I want to do is have like kind of a tilt a little bit as it goes up. You'll, you'll see what I mean, hopefully. Um, I don't know if necessarily how this looks. I'm going to continue it all the way around, see how well it goes. The subway station for the rules tower, and yes... That's what I'm going to call it. Rules Tower. Sounds good. It's complete. Uh, what I have next to do... Well, okay. Oh, hold on. Oh, no. It's not complete. Um, obviously, I wanted to do a bit of work on that station, but I have no time left. And um, I want the stairs going up to be right here. So, there's like a th three thing, maybe... No, five thing stairway going up here. And then splitting off into two different things. Why? Just for pure aesthetic. Um... Again, I have to do the other train here and above here, uh, which is going to be the temporary stairs here. Uh, uh oh, ah, garbage. Uh, is the uh, uh, parking lot, the VIP parking lot. And I've already started. I went around and I found a lot of sheep to not murder, but skin them of their wool and got their wool. I'm going to use carpets so it can't be shown, but what will be shown is that under the tips of these carpets here is going to be glowstone, and that's what's going to light up here, and that's what's going to help light up under here, which it's going to look bad, but I'm going to try down here and make it look good because I'm not even, I'm not close to done here. I got to do the railway, I got to do the other train, I got to do the decorations. What I was thinking to do is having like paintings around or something like that. Maybe, ooh, how oh okay um do you know how when you go to like a subway they have like advertisements on walls and stuff i was thinking like we can put like a painting up there or something and do that but why don't we go find a space far away from here and make an actual advertisement or something like that on and put a map on there oh that would be awesome i think i think we are going to do that cuz it sounds sounds like a great idea but Right now, what I want to do is I want to design a tower so that I should actually build, and then finish the subway and the and finish the VIP parking lot when I have the idea for the tower. Yes, it is raining, but let's go take a look on how the future me is handling the tower. In my redstone testing world, I usually build pretty big, cool things. You know, so some of them are really really redstone heavy others are big and you don't even you never even seen it before but this is where there's the difference between big and big <laughs> okay um uh, I, I don't know where to start with this I built this tower you know th this does look pretty good I mean for this is just the frame the wire frame if you're a modeler or any kind it's called a wire frame um eh, first of all for the frame I really didn't even like the colors so I switched over to a dark gray uh, this is that that's just the normal terracotta this is dark gray which I like a lot better uh, up here um 
this looks okay-ish. I haven't really done the roof. This is just what the frame. This is the actual building part that I wanna that I'm gonna build. And yet you can see the rules because it's the rules tower. Get it? The the concept is that as it goes up, it slowly tilts a little bit, and that's what I kind of wanted. Um, the, the 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 I try to build some of the rooms, but I really don't like this all too well. And I I know I just, I just want the actual frame for now. I'm gonna definitely work on this and come back to you in the next video. But how I basically did this was. Uh, I searched up a video on how to build skyscrapers in Minecraft, and I came across this v video or a tutorial. It wasn't really much of a tutorial. Uh, how to build a, like, slanted, no, tilting towers. And he didn't explain how it really, he didn't explain anything. He just showed how to, like, twist it around all the way. I just want a little twist. So, what I basically saw was that, uh... The frame kind of didn't get smaller, but it shifted over. I'll, I'll, I'll try my best to show you in the next video where I actually have the tower. But what I have planned is each of these, these are going to be all the floors. Uh, there's about 20 floors, I believe. I haven't really counted, including the first floor. Each floor is six blocks tall, except for the first floor. It's actually eight blocks tall, which is quite a lot. Um... For the sponsors, like Holden and Jordan, like I mentioned earlier, they're going to have two floors each. So they're probably they're probably going to be these floors here. Um, there's also going to be my uh, another spare room. Just basic guy, probably going to be this top room or maybe the one below it. This is going to be my little area of whatever I want. Uh, there's going to be a gambling area so somewhere at the top. And underneath is going to be like a giant restaurant. And there's going to be a whole section for stores and other stuff for public use um because half of this tower is not going to be very public so if it's going to be connected to spawn town like the railway station it might as well be um i just want to say one thing this took me about two days to come up with and build and test it out if you have older parents or older people who don't like Minecraft, and no matter how many times you tell them it's educational, because it really, really is, and they say no, just show them this. I went through so much math to calculate each floor going up, how many blocks specifically. I had two calculators on my computer open. One to figure out uh, how many blocks in each line, and how many lines there'd be. What I mean by that is a line is like, this is one line, this is another line, this is another one, and blocks in each line. So this one, one, two, three, four, five. This has five in each line, but if we go down a bit, one, two, three, four, five, six in each line, and there's less lines, obviously. Two calculators. Not to mention that when you got up, it got more complex, that some of them uh, were, there's a few, yeah, the, this one was the hardest. Some of them kind of overlap each other right here, and some are not. And that was, like, the most pain-in-the-neck-inducing thing. Um, in the next episode, I'm going to try and build this as much as possible. And in the next episode, in the beginning, I'm going to meet back in this world and show you what I have and tell you my thoughts and whatever. And also, I'm going to build the actual frame before I start the video. So you won't have to, like, see any of that or anything. But anyway, guys, that's the end of this video here. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.